Hey, this is Jim. It's uh, 12, 17 p.m. in San Francisco, California on May the 18th. Please note that all discussions, analysis, and information presented are for general information on educational purposes only and should not be construed as financial or any other form of professional advice. So something real interesting just happened here on the volume front that I wanted to show you guys. So um, this bar, this uh, 1130 closing bar for me, uh, and I'm on the West Coast, so this is PST, that bar right there, uh, posted the second lowest vol or let's see the lowest volume of the entire year for 2023 on a 60 minute bar. So posted 506,762 shares traded. Okay. And remember, we just finished this volume structure here. We're looking for a volume to pick up on the upside. And so far that's happened. We painted that nice green bar. So what we're looking for next is to paint through this 9.9 .9 million share uh, red bar and um, we can be off and running. And then of course, if we were to paint three consecutive 15 million share 60 minute bars or greater uh, green closing bars consecutive, uh, then we could start to to really aggressively uh, have something more resembling a melt up and attack this 1423 level. So let me show you guys the significance. The last time this happened, it's sort of a quiet before the storm type of a, a, a indication. So I'll carry you all the way back to January 10th. So January 10th, 2023, same thing coincidentally, the 11.30 a.m. closing 60-minute price bar. You can see it way down here. We had volume of 580,143. So obviously, we just posted even a more extreme reading in the low, in a low volume extreme reading here. And look at how similar all of this is. Well, what happened the last time we had this uh, volume, the same volume characteristic back on um, January 10th, 2023, was it led to a four session 65% rally. So, you know, not a, a huge melt up by any means, but um, at this point, I'd take a 65% rally. More importantly, if we do see that type of a rally, um, with this type of volume, you can see here at that 1130 uh, volume bar on the 10th, the stock gapped up uh, the very next day on the morning of the 11th on uh, this really big volume bar right here. So again, quiet before the storm set up. And if we were to take off, even on a 65% uh, move, and you guys know that I think we're about to head into something um, next week that's much larger than that. But even if we were just to do a 65 percenter, that's enough to slingshot us up through uh, some of these important anemoy trigger levels. And again, uh, these trigger levels are associated with buy program activity and um, price velocity. So anyway, everything's sort of uh, setting up nicely here. I'll give you guys a quick a glance back at that 240 minute bar. Again, here we are. Here's the setup. We would have re entry above this yellow uh, uptrend line, which represents a secondary uh, expanding megaphone melt up fractal here. This is your overhead speed line. And then even better if we were to move above this thick yellow line. Uh, but this sets us up for a uh, attack of this 1375 and 1550, those retest levels uh, as early as next. Um, next week uh the window again extends from it started yesterday and it extends into the second week of june um you know so that's what this sort of outside uh, of this price box represents so we have all of this uh, time to, to to move up uh this 745 is just sort of common vibration so uh, most likely a stutter step in that area you can see here this was the a the B, the C. So we need a little D, E before you take off there. And then um, let me show you this five minute real quick and I'll wrap this up. Um, so here we are. We've got, we're trading 511 right now with a little more than a half hour to go in the trading session. A Nimoy hourly triggers at uh, $5.13 and dropping slightly about a penny an hour. Um, so this will be around 513, maybe 512 into the close today. Um, and um, at the open tomorrow, real similar, you know, 512, 511-ish. Um, and that sets us up in a position to slingshot really nicely, especially if we, we see a big volume spike like we saw back on uh, January the 11th coming out of that low volume uh, 
bar posted on January the 10th. Um, that can slingshot us right through the daily trigger. It will drop slightly tomorrow. So, you know, you can use 530 roughly, uh, but it'll be more like probably 529 ish. Um, and then that uh, enters an air pocket here up to this 571. And then, of course, uh, we have all this stuff to look forward to next week if this thing tracks. That's it from my side. Good luck, you guys.